This video will show you how to start up the LSM 900 with AI Sample Finder called Tonks. In the room, there are startup instructions. The other side has the shutdown instructions. We're going to follow these instructions one at a time to get the system up and running. The first step is to log into the system on the iLabs kiosk. I've already done that. The second step is to verify the computer is on and log in. So you can see the monitor is on, therefore the computer is on. If it were off for whatever reason, if this light is off, it means the computer is uh, off. Press it, and that will turn the computer on. People should leave the computer on, but if for some reason it's off, that's the button you press to turn it back on. Um, so now we need to log in. So I'm just going to hit Enter. The login um, that we use is Tonks, and the password is MSL, all lowercase. The next step is to turn on the system switch, which is switch number one, and wait five seconds. The system switch is here down um, under this to the left. There's the system switch. I'm going to turn it on and wait five seconds. Once five seconds have gone by, I'm going to go back here to my startup instructions and turn on the component switch, which is number two. I'm going to go back here and turn on the component switch. The next step is to wait for the focus controller box or number three to display definite focus three standby. So the focus controller box is over here, and we want this to say uh, definite focus three standby. That's gonna take a while. In the meantime, I'm gonna remove this dust cover and set it aside. It took about a minute, but now the system has the message we want, definite focus three standby. The next step is to select microscope on the touchscreen item number four. So this is the touch screen that controls various items on the microscope. And we want to uh, click this microscope button so that we can have easy access to the objectives. The next step is to start the Zen software. See, I'm just going to double click here on the top left corner of the screen on Zeiss Zen. It might not be exactly the same version for you as we periodically upgrade it, but it should look something like this when it starts. The software has finished starting up, and this message has come up saying stage focus not calibrated. If you look at the startup instructions, it says if there is a stage focus not calibrated message, click calibrate now. That's what we're going to do. When you do that, the stage is going to move and find uh, the corner. So make sure that you don't have um, something fragile on there uh, that this movement would cause it to fall or something like that. Now, that'd be very weird, but um, just make sure you don't have a sample on it while it's doing that, just to be safe. Now, it will only do this calibration if you are the first person to turn it on during the day or if you came and found it off. If the system was already on when you got here, you will not need to do this calibration. Once the calibration is complete, this, we're almost done with the startup. There's one final step which is to load the MSL workspace in the top right corner of Zen. So if you look at Zen, it's a big screen. In the very top right, it says workspace. And in the drop-down menu, you want to select the MSL option. What that will do is make the software look the same every time you start. With that, we're ready to go.